ask this fine audience. OK? Lots of luck, Andrew. Let's Thank play you. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, Andrew, hopefully nice and straightforward. Just be aware of those lifelines if you need them. Question number one is for £100. Here it is. Which of these is the title of a long-running British TV sitcom? Mum's Navy. Auntie, I think I know where we're going. Auntie's yeah. Police Force. <laughs> Dad's Army. Granny's Air Force. Dad's Army. That's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> Okay, question number two for 200 pounds, here it is. Which word meaning friendly is also a name for a fruit drink? Word meaning friendly. Genial, amiable, cordial, affable. Cordial. That's the right answer, you've got 200 pounds. <laughs> okay, question number three for 300 quid, here it is. Which of these is a chamber of the Houses of Parliament? Which of these is a chamber of the Houses of Parliament? House of Masters, House of Lords, House of Rulers, House of Chiefs. House of Lords. It's the right answer. You've got £300. <laughs> See, Natalie's in a bit of a state already. You're another 300 quid. <laughs> You're right, Natalie. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> OK, have a look. Question number four for 500 quid. Who won his third Olympic rowing gold medal with Steve Redgrave in 2000? Matthew Corbett. Matthew Pinsent. Matthew Letissier. Matthew Kelly. It's Matthew Pinsent. It's the right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> OK, first big master, and then Andrew, this is for £1,000. Question number five of a possible 15. Which of these is not a type of fabric? Taffeta, tapioca, tarlatan, tweed. I'd have to say tapioca. You have to say tapioca. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. Good answer. <laughs> You've got a thousand pounds. Um, you've got all three lifelines left. You said you were quite nervous when you came on. Feel a bit better? I've got a thousand pounds. I, I, yes, I feel happy now that I'm going to go with something. Definitely, <laughs> that makes it easier. And you're working towards the, the big wedding, on the beach. Yeah. In uh, in the Caribbean. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Well, you've got a thousand pounds. This is for two thousand pounds. Question number six. You've got all three lifelines. Trolls are ugly creatures from which mythology? Scandinavian, Roman, Greek, Indian, trolls. Scandinavian. Sure? Yeah. How do you know? Um, I'm not certain how I know. It's just one of those things I'm sure I know. Fine lots. Three Billy Goats Gruff and all that. Three, I'm a troll, boldly roll. That's it. And I'll eat you for my supper. Yeah. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer, you've got £2,000. <laughs> Question number seven for £4,000. You've still got all three lifelines. Here it is. If you owned a Russian blue, what kind of pet would you have? A Russian blue, a budgerigar, a rabbit, a cat, a hamster. If you owned a Russian blue, what kind of pet would you have? A budgerigar, a rabbit, a cat or a hamster? It's for £4,000 and a wedding on the beach. What are you thinking? I think it's cat. I don't know why I think it's cat. But I think it's cat. Not Budgerigar. No, I don't know. I don't know. You've got three lifelines of... Yeah, 50-50, um, Chris, please. please. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Andrew the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <laughs> oh. Well, I never.
If you owned a Russian blue, what kind of pet would you have? A budgerigar or a cat? No, it's cat. Yeah, it is cat. How do you know suddenly? Budgerigar just smacks of Monty Python a bit, and it? Norwegian blue and all that. What, the dead budgerigar the dead sketch? Budger well, it's the dead parrot, I know. <laughs> this but <it's> budgerigar has <laughs> ceased to be. <laughs> No, it's a cat. Yeah, it's a cat. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. It's the right answer. It is a cat. Well done. <laughs> so you've got £4,000 now. Have a look at question number eight for £8,000. Okay. Which singer was nicknamed the Little Sparrow? Billy Holiday. Ella Fitzgerald. Edith Piaf. Marlena Dietrich. Edith Piaf. Sure? Yeah. Sound very confident? Yes. Final answer? Yes, final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> now, how are you feeling? Good? Yeah. Get serious now, doesn't it? It's serious. It's serious money. You're two away from big milestone of 32,000. Yeah. Um, You've got two lifelines to get you there as well. Okay. You would lose 7,000 at this point if you gave me a wrong answer. Just take your time, have a good look. Question okay. number nine is for £16,000. Winchester was the capital of which Anglo-Saxon kingdom? Mercia, Northumbria, Kent, Wessex. It's Kent, Chris. Not Wessex, not Mercia. Winchester no, is the capital of which Anglo-Saxon kingdom? Mercia, Northumbria, Kent or Wessex? No, Wessex was uh, Devon, Cornwall, Thomas Hardy. Mercia is Wales, Northumbria is north, it's Kent. John? Sure. Winchester's still, in, still down there, isn't it? The last time I looked. What, in Kent? I think so. Is that you? You've got two lifelines if you need them. No, it's Kent. Final answer. Final answer. Andrew, it's the wrong answer. Andrew, it's Wessex. Okay. We're having a bit of a night of it tonight. Andrew, I'm so sorry. You still go away with £1,000, but I'm afraid okay. you just dropped 7000 Cool. I'm so sorry. Give him a big hand. He goes away. £1,000 better off. Andrew Parkman still takes £1,000 back to Peter. We're having uh, trouble giving money away tonight, but as you've seen on this show so many times, it can change. Just one show ago, we were playing for £1 million. Now, we've got nine contestants left. Fastest finger first again. Audience, quiet as little mice, please, so they can concentrate. Here comes the next question. Starting with the earliest, put these bands in the order they first had a UK number one single. Madness, Manic Street Preachers, Monkey's Mud. OK, starting with the earliest then, four bands. Uh, Farthest Back in Time, Monkeys, back in 1967. Uh, Mud then had a number one in 1974. Madness in 1982, Suggsy & Co. And then Manic Street Preachers in 1998. Right, that's the right order. Now, all these got it right of our remaining nine. Uh, most of them, who was fastest? David Stainer in 4.80 seconds. <laughs> Top man, you want to play for a million quid? Yes, yes sir. please, I very much like it. Okay, here we go. This is David Stainer, a law student from Guildford in Surrey, up there in the audience. Looking very proud tonight is Dad Keith, and watching at home is Mum Judith, who's a phone of friend, uh, Sister Vicky, and Brother Tom, both of whom, uh, according to David, have suddenly become much nicer to him in the last few days. Apparently, they've actually started to say things like, hello. And <laughs> at the breakfast table this morning, even asked, how are you? I wonder why. David's no stranger to quiz shows. He was in the University Challenge final in April 99. Did you win? 
No, we didn't. No, we oh. lost. <laughs> I'm afraid to the Open University. Did you? Yeah. So you losing to the Open University. Now you say if you get um, five thousand pounds here, that would pay off your student loan. Yes. That'd be nice. Be lovely. Okay. Lots of love. Fifteen questions, one million pounds, three brand new lifelines. He's got fifty-fifty. He's got phone a friend, and he can ask this audience. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, David, question number one for £100. Here it is. Have a look. You're 15 away from a million. This is the first question. Which of these refers to an argument or fight? Ding dong. Ping pong. Sing song. King Kong. It's, it's ding dong. It's the right answer. You got uh, £100. <laughs> Question number two for 200. Here it is. Which of these is a wealthy and influential person? Plump rabbit, stout dog, podgy pig, fat cat. It's a fat cat. It's a fat cat's right. So you got 200 pounds. It's a long way from paying off that loan, aren't we? Question number three for 300 pounds. Here it is. What type of food is a vindaloo? Salad, curry, trifle, risotto. It's a curry. Not salad. Definitely not. Salad. Definitely not. It's right out, you got 300 pounds. <laughs> Question number four is for 500 pounds. Have a look. Complete the title of the hit single for Queen, Radio. Ra Ra, La La, Gaga, Na Na. Gaga. It's the right answer. You got five hundred pounds. <laughs> right, David. Last point at which you could go home with nothing. I'm sure you won't. This is for one thousand pounds. Question number five. Here it is. What nationality is Sven Goran Eriksson, who was named as England football coach in two thousand? Swiss, Spanish, Swedish, Scottish. He's Swedish. Not Scottish. Definitely not Scottish. <laughs> Definitely not Scottish. Right now, you've got a thousand pounds. So, David, you've got one thousand pounds guaranteed. Whatever happens, you get back back home to uh, to Guildford with at least a thousand. You've got all those lifelines. How are you feeling now? Quite calm? No, a bit nervous. Oh, you look all right. Actually, you look quite quite together. <laughs> it's only an act. <laughs> it's a good act. Have a look then, question number six. This is for £2,000. Here it is. In which city was the Reichstag Parliament building burned down in 1933? Berlin, Vienna, Copenhagen, Brussels. It's for £2,000. It's uh, Berlin. Sure. Pretty sure, yeah, Berlin. Final answer? Yes. It's good. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> Have a look at question number seven. You're nine away from a possible million. If you won a million, would you carry on being a law student? Definitely, yeah. Would you? Yeah. I thought you could say definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, uh, I would continue. OK, we'll see. You've got £2,000. Have a look at question number seven for 4000 Here it is. Which of these is a Massachusetts island? Martha's Vineyard, Mary's Apple Yard, Maggie's churchyard, Melanie's backyard. It's uh, Martha's vineyard. Final answer? Yes. Why are you so confident? Uh, I've just heard of it before. I think the presidents go there on holiday. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. And there's more from Chris Tarrant and more from Millionaire next here on Challenge. Then we're up at the hockey for a chance of a little time on the prize board in Bullseye. Later, Vine wowsers with puns and some big, big questions in Whittle.